Action Park Media. That night I went upstairs and I'm just, I'm scared. I'm like, I'm 17 and, you know, I hadn't gotten, you know, accepted to a college yet. My mom, I had to go to a college. Um, you know, I was barely passing at the time too. I had all this stuff. I had surgeries coming and now it's like, I'm like. Now you're a GM. And now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Life is a casino. We don't sing. We just hit them off with C-Nos. And you can bet it all. I'm going to be the last one standing tall. Joey Molino. What's up, DJ? Life is a casino. We don't sing. We just hit them off with C-Nos. And you can bet it all. I'm going to be the last one standing tall. Joey Molino. with Joey Molino. Welcome back to episode 16, The Skinny with Joey Merlino and Little Snuff. Today we have a special guest. I'm sure you heard of him before, Mr. AJ Galante. He is the owner slash president <laughs> of the Trashers. Welcome What's to up, the show, fellas? my friends. Welcome, it's, my buddy. It's a Happy pleasure to have you Absolute here. honor to be here with you guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. Yesterday was New Year's, a little yeah, rough day, right? Yeah, a little hungover. <laughs> <laughs> It was well worth it, though. We yeah. will say that. No, I mean, I, I've been seeing your guys' videos, obviously, from day one, but the New Year's stuff is, yeah. is yeah. insane. I was just saying, I'm going to bring my wife and son next year. It was... Yeah, you come. You were showing me a video. It was it absolutely... It's nothing yeah. like it. It's hard to no. explain, but it's just No, great. it doesn't... You I mean, say it. Like even... The, yeah. It just doesn't do it justice. You no. got to... What you just showed so, me was just un, unbelievable. We picked... Uh, I picked two. We picked South Philly. Yeah. String Bands, they won. There you and, go. Uh, the South Vikings, Philly Vikings won. South Philly Vikings won. Butch D'Amato and uh, Trav and uh, yeah, it was such a good time. Denny, uh, Jimmy Brown, th he was the. Remember we went and watched him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you to practice. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it on the on the on the video. Yeah, you see them practice, then you see the real thing with the costumes on. It's unbelievable. Hundred eighty thousand dollars spent on costumes. The one gold costume I yeah. think I saw was insane. It's insane. I, I gotta come next the, year. Yeah, I'm gonna be here. Yeah, for sure. If Unreal. You can't, if you can't get up and dance that music. You'll never wrong. dance. There's something wrong with you. It really you know, is. That, Listen, seriously. Joey had a great time. I had a great time. Wag. We have such a good group of no, friends that yeah. is. They, what open, I, they, it's amazing. they welcome us. So all the guys down Second Street, the yeah. Pirates. It was amazing. Uh, South Philly String Band went to their party. Went yeah. to the Pirates party. He had the trophy. They had the trophy. The tree. He was playing the drums. It's good to I'm see, to you know, there. you know, I'm from Danbury, Connecticut, and it's just good to see, like, like I've always, um, I guess from the Rocky movies, I've always had a fascination with with Philadelphia right. and, yeah, and the culture, time. and like, um, you know, it's 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 cool to see, like you were saying, a hundred and something years they've been doing that, hundred twenty something, hundred twenty years to yeah. see yeah. that tradition continue. It's it, that's what I'm about. When you turned the, City Hall yesterday, yeah, if not. there wasn't a hundred thousand people there, there was none, yeah. and the, everybody's clapping and. Dancing. Dance. They're celebrating us like that. We're performing. Like, meanwhile, right. we're just in makeup dancing. But it's yeah. just the time. The kids, we have one-year-old babies yeah. that stayed yeah. the whole time. The, the five-year-olds. Uh, they have a ball. It's, it's yeah. just such family-oriented. No, it's, nice. it's the best time. Yeah, I love it, man. So I just, just the video, the three minutes I watched, it was like, Yeah, I'm going to put the video up. You, yeah, the people absolutely. Watch it on the, yeah. On and on then you come down next year. No, I, got, year. I was just saying, my no, wife and my son will freak out over that. That would be cool. They'll love it. Well, let's get into it. And, you know, of course... Introduce yourself. Tell everybody where you're from, how this came about, how we all connected, and tell us a little about your life story. So you're uh, from Danbury? Yeah, Danbury. Only thing I know is Danbury's the jail. That, uh, <laughs> yes, that's right. It, it was always. To, it used to be a co-ed jail. It was just a. It, well, then it was a woman's, and now it's it guys. Was, it was right. yeah. It was it was weird. Um, you know, it was all. It was when I grew up. You know, I was born in. I'm 30, so I was born in '86, okay. and, and growing up, it was just women's at first. Yeah, it was women. And I, I feel like Martha Stewart might have went there. Don't quote me on that, but I, it was a, whenever like a high profile right. women went there it was always a big thing in Danbury. And then it's they made it it's they made converted it to co-ed. Yeah, yeah, and really, now it's I, men. And it, it's it's, men. it's it's um it's cra yeah it's right it's it's weird Danbury. It's funny because Danbury was only known for that prison, prison. for so yeah. long. Yeah. It, yeah. That's really what it was. I mean. Um, the only reason I know Dan Barry is because of you. Other than that, I have no idea <laughs> oh, about Dan Barry. Oh, I appreciate yeah, it. That's yeah, the truth. You know, Dan is a weird city because we're we're sixty miles uh, north of Manhattan. Manhattan. So it's weird. You know, Connecticut is such a small state, uh, and yeah. um, there's a lot going on. But what happens is when people make it in Connecticut, they just simply go up the street to yeah. New York or it's like Boston. Boston. Yeah, yeah, same Boston. thing. So, so so it's weird. Dan Barry, um, you know, I always say Connecticut split. There's like. Where we are in Connecticut, I call it like New York light, right? Okay. It's so close to New York, and it's like everyone just everyone's a transplant, right. really. Right. And then you got like real New England Connecticut, you know, right. like everywhere where I'm yeah, from, yeah. everyone's a Yankee fan, a, a, a Ranger, Devils, uh, yeah. Knicks, right. please the Knicks, and yeah. um, 
you know, then you go like thirty minutes, forty five, and then it's all Red Sox, Red Sox country, and yeah, I don't want to, yeah. I don't want to deal with those people. So, yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, so it's, it's it's you know, I'm, the I'm sure. Yes, oh God, the Bruins. Big, yeah, and, Bruins uh, got a big fan base. Yeah. But uh, oh they got my go God, fans. Boston got good fans. Absolutely, Boston. they're like Philly. They're like Philly. You know, I tell you, I've learned to appreciate. It. I was so against Boston my whole life because you know Connecticut doesn't really have too much pride with it. So like where we are, it's all New York basically. Right. Of course. Um, and then, like you said, I've learned to really appreciate how passionate Boston is no, too. Passionate. When you when you start, you what know, are big time fans? I mean, big, really big, are. big, like, big time. Listen, city. The best fans are Boston, Philly, New York. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole Northeast Florida is where Detroit's is. not bad neither. No. Detroit's got crazy yeah. fans. Pittsburgh got good fans. Oh yeah, they Pittsburgh is is um the difference. Florida's though, got the worst. The worst because yeah. <laughs> they're from all over. Listen, ten years ago, I went to the. I used to go to the hockey games, yeah. the Panther games. Yeah, and they played the Flyers. There was more Flyers fans than the Panthers. Yeah, it's uh, and we well, travel. Well, Philly is Philly I mean, travels. Philly's yeah, Philly the real travels. deal. I mean, Philly is, uh, you know, um, you know, all my teams are New York based team except for football. I'm a Raiders fan, and the reason I became a Raiders, Raiders yeah, fan, fuck you like the Raiders. Yeah. Well, I don't know why, but I tell you, it's it's when growing up, you know, we'll talk 1990, 1991. I was four or five when I started getting into video games. You know, we, before of Madden, course. yeah, we had Joe Montana, and we had a house rule that you know, you know. We'd rock, paper, scissors, shoot to see who would get the first pick at the team. Everyone was picking Giants or Jets. Of course, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would never seem to win. I had no luck. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like some of the picks sometimes. Right? Yeah, I had yeah, no yeah. luck getting rock, paper, scissors. So I would just, I like the Raiders colors, the silver and yeah, black. The silver and black. The, the, the pirate. The, the starter jacket. So I'm, like, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to pick the Raiders every time. And I just, I, I became a Raider Dude, fan. And, nice. and it's just been, it's been a rough go since. Uh, since day one. Yeah, but you got to stay loyal. The kids yeah. today, and I make yeah. fun of the kids in my gym. The kids today they don't like teams they yeah. like players oh, and well, they follow the player it's because yeah. player props and player now it's, it's, it's like now I, you got to stick with your team and uh you know but it's wherever the money goes yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, I mean, that's true really, yeah if you need a certain team that's who yeah. you know what i mean but i think brady's got a piece of the the raiders game. i heard that i heard piece. that too I think he got a piece yeah they said, they said belichick might go there really probably would they follow each other i was watching an interview last night on gronk he you was know, doing the full send He's you know you talk about, about you talk about going down to florida and what I don't know when the Raiders moved from Oakland, like the yeah. Vegas gorgeous stadium. Yeah, I've seen stadium. it from the outside, but there's no home field advantage no, anymore yeah. because now, yeah. like when, I remember when the Steelers went there this year, I'm watching. I was pulling my hair out because it was more those stupid ass towels. Yeah, I was like, oh, there's I was a like, nightclub. Would have never happened. Yeah, in there's Oakland. a club yeah, but in them, there. Them fans travel though. Like, yeah, yeah, Pittsburgh's no joke. My mom's a Steeler fan. There you and go. She, because of Frank O'Hara is that, yeah. that 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 <laughs> cheat. Yeah. I always bust her stone because I was against the Raiders. So that was the. Macular, oh, yeah. I bust her stones on. I, she... I was getting a haircut in Joe DeGrees Bowls, right? Uh huh. I was a kid. Fuck, what, what year was that? God, seven. Was that the seven? I have no idea. I was young. Yeah. And he must have bet the grease ball. He cut my fucking hair when the guy did. The, he had the TV on. He fucking went, went cut the whole fucking back of my head. Mama pipes cursing in Italian. Yeah. I said, get the fuck out See of here. Later. That's, that's a classic. Yeah. See here. That was his name. Yeah. Joe DeGrees. Listen, it was a barber shop. Where was that at in South Philly, right? Ten Cantrell. Wow. A barbershop, he sold candy, like gold, like Reese Cubs, the fish, yeah, yeah. bubble gum. And if you got, what the fuck was it? Every haircut, you got a coupon. And if you get five coupons, you get a free turkey. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, there was hair all over the fucking food over there. <laughs> fucking filthy place. That's a classic. It was funny, though. Yeah. See, they're the best stories. The old school stories are the no, best stories. No, it is. It, it really is. And, uh, you know. Like That's I where said, it, 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 it really is. I love to hear, you know, same thing. How old are you, Joe? I'm only 31. Yeah. Right. I feel so like I'm in the I'm middle. I'm in the middle. Yeah. Growing up, I was always the kid. I was yeah. always the little That's kid. And, and now it's like I'm turning into the older guy now. Yeah. I, like the kids at the oh, gym, they bust old. my stones yeah. and they're <laughs> like, oh, you know. But uh, it, it's 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 funny. I love looking back. My whole life is on home video. I mean, um, yeah. the Trasher documentary, most of that footage is my camcorder. Really? really? So my whole life, my mom was always. So I have footage, which is such a blessing from birth to. Now no. I have yeah. a, it's like one well, the documentary it shows the footage of your yes. mom saying stuff to your dad and things yeah, like that. Yeah, That's pretty so cool. it's you were like, a good hockey player, right? I was, you know what? I thought I was good. I thought I was Eric Lindros right. because when well, I, yeah, when, I when I started in, in hockey, you know, we talked about this off the air. You know, whenever the Mighty Ducks came out, ninety two or something, I got into. I was like, I yeah. gotta play hockey. I'm a Banks guy. I'm a big Banks Gordon, guy. Okay, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Big guy. I was a Bass brother guy. Yeah, yeah, Gordon. yeah. But uh, when the you know Dan Brady and no, everywhere where I'm from, it was baseball, basketball, football. That was it. There was yeah. no hockey. We didn't have an ice arena. 
So when I got into it, I told my mom, I have to move. I want to play hockey. She's like, well, I don't, where do, where do we play hockey? So you start on the street. We were playing street yeah, hockey. Yeah, crates. Um, we had the crates yeah, growing up. Yeah, and, um, you know, eventually in Brewster, New York, maybe 25 minutes outside of Danbury, they had a rink. Had and a rink. I started playing in-house, mm -hmm. which wasn't high-level hockey. But I was a big kid at 11, 12 years old. So I was like Eric Lindros. The kids were bouncing off me. Yeah. I was I was averaging like three points a game. Yeah, I thought yeah, yeah. I was going. You I were thought going I was league. going. Then high school came, it starts evening out, and I realized I wasn't going to be a goal scorer. And, and my sophomore year, I said, you know what, let me move to defense. Um, I got in the weight room, I started putting on some weight, and then I just wanted to play physical. I just, yeah. Yeah. sophomore year on, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to score goals. Let me just keep the puck from going in our net. And then hockey's just such a, um, it's just a, it's, to me, it's it's just such a beautiful sport. It really it's is. like, uh the, peop the, the athletes are grossly underpaid, you yeah. know, compared to these They're other the guys. They're athletes. Listen, LeBron James oh. broke his nose one time. I was yeah. Like, he was out eight games. Yeah. And hockey, you're out one shift. Um, one shift. So literally listen, one my, shift. Yeah. My, I said, my friend Tony, his daughter Olivia, she wanted to go to the, to the Panther game. Yeah. And Dave Bullen's my friend. He used to come to the restaurant all the time. So he took after the game. She went in the back, um, like to the locker room. He yeah, gave yeah, her yeah. Like a signed shirt. He was a great guy. He broke his nose. Went. She came out the door. His nose was over here. Yeah. Like, is that work. crazy or what? Well. It's the, I mean, it's, I yeah. mean, she got scared. She was a kid. Of like, course. You know what I mean? They yeah. look like monsters. No, it, monster. it's, it was the culture, too. It's like, you know, they have a thing, these guys. Like, they try not even to miss a shift. Oh, I, I know. guys' teeth, teeth and they're full, like, right, just yeah. go, 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 go. Right, like, right, right on the bench. Right, they right, call it out. They show it. They just, um, they're just a different, different breed. And a baseball player gets a blister. Yeah, yeah. It's a fucking blister. And, uh, you know, it's, um. And they're getting paid 400 million. Yeah, but hockey's such a beautiful sport. And, um, you know, it's, 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 uh, I didn't know you, you loved hockey so much. That's his number one sport. Me too. And it makes sense. I mean, you know, like I said, the Flyers. There's nothing like playoff hockey. Best. Oh, yeah, yeah. Overtime, playoff hockey. Well, listen, the Flyers this year, uh, Tortorella's got them. Got they play. got them. Uh, they Second got them right now. They got I mean, them. come on. They got a big game tonight versus Edmonton. They were, the hottest, they were the hottest team, I think. Yeah, yeah since like, November. Yeah, so like, hottest team. I became a Devils fan by Devils default because, you know, when I got into hockey, my dad didn't know. My dad played football in high school. You know, he's a big football guy. And, you know, I got into hockey, and um, I guess he just got New Jersey Devil tickets in 93, 94, and we went. And yeah. just naturally, the Devils became my team. It was against the Pittsburgh Penguins, actually. And um, Scott Stevens. Oh, he, he, he was my hero. Yeah. He, he was. Yes, he was. was he put him out. I was at a game they were good. where Lindros ran Martin Brodeur, and it was the great. I just, listen, I'm loyal. I can't act like I like the Flyers, but the Flyers... If it, you know, if I'm watching yeah, hockey from day one and looking at the history, the Flyers are more my type of team. Broad than Street the Devils. Bullies. Broad Street but yeah, I mean that that's I mean, I really modeled, you know, when we had this well, treasure young, team. Right? Well, you, you don't remember when they won the cup, right? No, I was I mean remember when they lost in the cup. No, when they won. No. Two years in a row. No. We were on Broad Yeah, I was a kid. We were on yeah. Broad Street. Oh the man. LC, I wasn't even born. It must have been some time. What, many yeah. people. The L C B line. Leech, Leech Barber and Clark. That's yeah, amazing. The, the Flyers. Clark, Clark, he was good. He was my I love him. Yeah. I Bobby shirts, Clark. Number 16, yeah. Um, I could just watch highlight videos of it. Dave I love Schultz, it. Schultz. I mean, uh, Perrant. What's Perant, his name? Perrant. Perant. Perant. Yeah, man. And when I look back, you know, when, when my dad started this this minor league team and put me in charge at 17. Well, that's I was like, what we want to talk about. Yeah, I mean, I just You really, want to buy the Flyers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's They're it's for sale. sale. That, I tell you, that's my type, you know. I'm a devil fan. I'll always be a devil fan. I can't ever, you know, I can't I can't move from there. Exactly. But looking back, when I when we started this team, I'm like, I look back, I was reading books on the 70 Flyers, the Broad Street Bulls. I'm like, man, this is the type of team. Team that, you want. I mean that Well, that, what happened when you went into school? Get into that. You go into school that day and they say to you, Congratulations. So, so I kind of rewind slightly. Yeah, yeah. So God, it was my senior year of high school. So we're going, we're talking hmm, January. February, um, I just hurt my knee in, during the holidays playing hockey. Playing hockey. And I was done. You know, they, it was my senior year. They're like, you need like two, three surgeries. You're done. Career over. I knew I wasn't going to be a college player. You know, so it was it. And, uh, you know, typical Sunday, we're having sauce, macaroni, whatever. And, and my dad is a, is a interesting guy because. You call it sauce, we call it gravy. We call it gravy. <laughs> Oh, don't say that. Yeah, man. we're gravy guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I can't we're argue. Gravy. I'm in Philly. I can't argue with yeah. you guys. So we're having gravy. Okay. All right. And um, my dad's funny because um, he's very serious all the time, but he loves to joke, and yeah. he and he likes to test people. He's a ball bird. But yeah, all. Oh, but he he tests you in different ways, and and I've been doing it since I was a little kid in the yard with him and whatever. So he goes. Uh, 
you know what? So now we're in 2004, January, and he's like, you know, I'm thinking about buying a professional hockey team, sticking it in Danbury, because that the Denver Ice Arena was like two years old now. Okay. It's a brand new. Because they wind up putting an ice ring there. Yeah. Yes. So um, I'm like, oh, all right, great, Dad. I thought he was breaking my ball, so yeah, I'm right. breaking him back, back with right. him. I'm just agreeing. Everything he could have said, UFO's real. Oh, sure, Dad. So he's like, you know, I'm going to make a team. I'm like, all right, great, Dad. That sounds like a good idea. You have no experience with, yeah. with a tie. Sure. He goes, yeah. He goes, you want to run the team? You want to be the GM or president or whatever? I'm like, sure. Yeah, I'll do it. No problem. <laughs> and he's like, you know, that's all it took. Oh, verbal agreement. Oh, okay. Done. So I, that's it. We end up eating whatever. Maybe three weeks later, um, back when people still got physical papers, um, I'm walking to school and... Um, Everyone's kind of, you know, when people are looking at you and I'm just like, what the hell? Like, Something's going on, but you just don't know what it is. sign on my back? Like, I was like, what the hell's going on? And um, teacher came up to me. He was like, AJ, I can't believe what's happening. I said, what? He goes, the, the team you guys are starting. I was like, what team? What are you talking about? It's the hockey team. I go, what hockey? So I'm now I'm thinking, like, something wrong with me. I, yeah, so I go happened? to the library where they always had the, uh, you know, those big ass sticks with the, with the paper. Yeah. Yeah. And I look at the front page and it, it said Galanti bringing hockey team to Danbury. Danbury. And, and it was 17 year old son will be the president. I was like, your heart had a drop. Yeah. I would listen. I was like, I, I couldn't believe it. And I really just couldn't believe it. And, um, you know, we didn't have cell phones those days, so yeah. I didn't call him like, "Hey, Dad, what the hell's going?" on? So I was just like, the whole day. I mean, I might as well went home. I, yeah. There was no. I was just sitting the whole day, just looking like, "What's going on?" So I go home. My dad would come home seven thirty on the dot every night. We'd eat dinner seven thirty, which is late for me. Seven thirty every night. So I'm sitting there. But that's an old school thing. Yeah. yeah. No, on on the dot yeah. seven twenty nine. The garage goes up, and he's it was like clockwork. Yeah. Um, so. The funniest thing about the story is, like, we didn't say a word to each other that night. He came in. He looked at me. Because I knew he was seeing if I was going to panic or say something. And yeah. I didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. My mom and sister poured, you know, they're just looking at each other. And we just <laughs> ate. We didn't say boo to each other. That night, I went upstairs. And I'm just, I'm scared. I'm like, I'm 17. And, you know, I hadn't gotten, you know, accepted to a college yet. My mom, I had to go to a college. Um you know, I was barely passing at the time, too. I had all this stuff. I had surgeries coming, and now it's like, I'm like. Now you're a GM. And now, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking to myself, what am I going to, like, this is crazy. But I said, I, I played, I was like, how do I get at it? Then I just said, I gave him my word, I do it, and um, yeah. it is what it is. So that's, next day, we, we sit down, and we're like, all right, what are we going to do? And Just like that. The rest is history. I mean, he had no plan either, by the way. I mean, yeah. he's a wild man. He was like, right. yeah, and we. Basically, the countdown was on from like maybe March first to October, mid October. We had to figure all this out, and wow. uh, and That's we announced bizarre. the team formally on April Fool's Day, which is funny because <laughs> we were playing with people. They, yeah, they of thought course, it was yeah. a joke, and it, it was just um, well, wild time. And not have it. I mean, listen. If my father came home to me and said, "I'm buying a team," usually he would tell me he was buying me a yeah. ticket to the turf club. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Like th that's. Totally bizarre from all it, off the door. It is. It's very. My dad has uh, his parent. His parenting style was very uh, best dad in the world, but throw you right in the ocean. Right. Yeah. Well, listen. And, 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 I think, I, and I think it was because you know my dad came from nothing. You yeah. know, and um, I didn't come from nothing. Right. So. It was very weird for me because I grew up around a lot of guys, you know, my dad and friends, and you go to the garbage yard and, you know, you're dealing with knock around guys, regular guys, and, and here I am. And um, I knew my place very early. Of course. I knew, uh, that's, you know, Jimmy's son, and I never wanted to be treated any right. different, you know, and it was hard because people were treating you well, different. Your father, and, your father was old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my dad, you know, every summer from five years old, I'd be at the yard with him. Even if I wasn't doing it, I'd just sit there and be like, what am I doing here? But <laughs> yeah. I observed, and you, you observe, and you, you take in things like a sponge and um, saw a lot of stuff, you yeah. know, like everyone else. But it was a different time then, too. But, um, you it know, was it, fun it, then. It was, it was so different. Like that's it was, that's it was, how I learned how to swim. My yeah. father, I didn't have to swim. They threw me in the fucking pool. Yeah. And go. <laughs> like, yeah, get the fuck out of this. Yeah, yeah. But it was, was it. from early ages, he just, um, and he tests me. I know he was testing me because uh, he, uh, big yard. If you guys ever come to Danbury, hopefully I'll show you the yard. It was a huge yard. And he had this intercom. Was it tra trash yard? Yeah, garbage. garbage. So he, uh, he had... Dozens of companies, and and he started, you know, as a kid before school. He'd go. His father had a one truck thing in New York, and um, 
he he before school go pick up trash, go to school, and, and, do and it that way. so that's all he knew it was it. was waste, you know waste management really and um. You know, I thought that's where I was going. You know, from five of years course, old, you that's, want to take all, your that's all right. it's going to be. You know, I didn't think of anything GM, else. You know? GM a hockey team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and uh, you know, it, it was just a crazy time. But sink or swim with me. Uh, you know, it was just like, hey, you're going to figure it out. And uh, it wasn't a novelty. See, a lot of people thought I was just there for, like, media and stuff of like course, that. Of course, now. You got to remember, back in those days, there wasn't social media. We weren't no, trying to be right. viral. There was right. none of that. So yeah. we, he was like, he would have fired me. Like my dad immediately. Would've, See you later. My dad would. How long did you have the team? We only had it two seasons, two seasons. and um, you know, unfortunately, there was some indictments after the second season. We came up just short in the finals that second year, and that was really that was really the end of it. Mm-hmm. It was a crazy time. I yeah. mean, um, you said a good two years though, right? It was. It was like. You get on such a high, you think it's never going to end. Of course, right. you know, and and we were having so it was so stressful the first year to try to make a name. Well, for that's ourselves. what I mean. Like, how did the process start? Like, you and your dad sit down now. Yeah, be like me and Joey right here. Exactly. Tomorrow like we're this. buying a team. Yeah. Now, how do we start getting players? Well, that's my my dad is my dad is shoot first and ask later. Okay. And I'm more now because of that watching how sometimes it will blow up in your face like that. I'm a little more. I'll wait in the bushes a little mm-hmm. bit. Right. Try to feel and then it. Go. He's just. If that says his head, that's it. We're doing it. That's yeah. it. So then it was like, um, so we sit down and we're like, all right, what's the league? He goes, oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I go, I go, what? Did he? So he goes, so we had a guy that, that was working for my dad that was, has involvement in minor league hockey at the time. And okay. He told us about this league and the United Hockey League, UHL. Dad just cold calls the commissioner um, the guy that was in the documentary. He's the ball actually, guy, he actually seemed like he was a cool he dude. Was, he, he, to me, is the star of the documentary. Yeah. So uh, my dad cold calls him says, hey, I want a team. And uh, the guy's like, what? And and he guy took my dad serious enough to fly from Missouri, came to Danbury, met with him. And um, <laughs> this part was in the beginning of the doc. And he's talking to my dad and going through financial state, making sure you could support a team, this and that. And then he's like, oh, who's, you know, and then he's like, yeah, my son's going to run the team. And I, I remember exactly how they portrayed it in the documentary. I come in at the time. Rock a warehouse. I was wearing you know, <laughs> 3XL basketball jersey. Yeah. I had some, like, Jordan. And, and you know, he's looking at me like, yeah, what, is this a kidding. joke? And he's like, no, my son's going to run the team. And I was like, hi, Mr. And it was just like, you know what it was? Me and his relationship, the commissioner was like principal and, and, and troublemaker. Of course, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, this, and from that point on, it was like. And then that's what happened. And the, the weird thing is, right, so my dad, people thought, my dad never owned the ice arena. People thought he did. So we didn't even, like, we didn't even get the okay from the ice arena if we could have a team. So we go to the arena, have to make a deal with them. Damn. Then the, the the bad part was at the time it was such a small arena. My dad, I, mean, I don't want to throw out numbers, but he spent a lot of money to renovate the arena, right, right. bring it I'm up sure to date. Did. yeah. And, and um you know, it, it was what you see now at that arena is is was really all him. He oh, built it's not even his his arena, but um they should have put in his name. Oh well, we really? had a high school football, uh, you know, a high school football field. He renovated all by himself. They took his name down. That's a whole other story. You yeah. know, they they love that you do, stuff. You do good for people to take your name down. Yeah, yeah that, that's a whole. They only another, remember the bad. Never they the all, good, that's right. a whole another story. Yeah. But uh, but no, I mean um. Yeah, I mean, but but to get back to your point, it's like I was like, Dad, what do I do? Like, how do we get players? Like, what do we do? Yeah, there's no, there's no social. I, now you could reach players if you yeah, want. Yeah, you could just right? damn somebody. Yeah. But now it's like, what do I do? So yeah, there was no Instagram. None the, that the, and, and really, if you really want to break it down, the hockey, like the internet, was kind of new. So I had Google, and I, I found this hockey database site, and I, you know, you start searching and figuring things out. The yeah. whole, and it's weird to think that's how it was. You had to figure things out differently. And um, we um, eventually found Wayne Gretzky's brother, Brent Gretzky. Yeah. And he's in our league. I'm like, and it was my, I give my dad this one. He was like, we got to get this guy just for the name. Just, just yeah. for a name, yeah. So, so Bring he, the buzz. So, so we got a hold of him. I don't even know how. I look at it as I was like a starting pitcher. Yeah. I, I kind of bring my dad the idea, I'll get you to the seventh, eighth inning. And he was the right. closer. However he closed it, I don't know. Exactly. But I was like, this is it. But he was all about getting Brent Gretzky. So we um, have the April 1st, April Fool's Day um, press conference when we're announcing the team formally. People were like, is this real? Is it not? And then we announced we're bringing Gretzky to the team. Yeah. We didn't say the first name. We said right, bringing correct. Gretzky. Yeah. People were, yeah. you talk about a viral moment at of the time, course, at least yeah, yeah. back home. People were like, ESPN, 
came. They all came, They were yeah. like, where, Gretzky's coming? Like, yeah, Brent Gretzky. <laughs> and they were like, oh, my God. They were so pissed. They were But mad. it's a good joke. They get but, the buzz. But, it great, you know, you created a buzz. And um, it's really then it just, the it just starts snowballing. Then when other players see a guy like Brent Gretzky, who, jokes aside, was a good player at that level. Yeah. They see he signed, and they're like, what's going on in Danbury? And then right. we, we get a just snowballed. And yeah. it was it's just... Before you know it, it was October fifteenth, oh four, our first game, and 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 that was all she wrote. It was just, and here we are still talking about the trash. It's insane to yeah, me that it that, really is that you know, it's crazy. But um, but yeah, like I said, I I, I read a lot of books about um, the Flyers of the seventies, Broad Street yeah. Bullies, and I really yeah. I'm well, like, I mean, the whole team was beating everybody up. Intimidation <laughs> works. They made, they Whether, made the, the Russians walked off. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. They played, they played the Soviet. It was Soviet Union. Yeah. They left. They walked off the ice. They, they just said it too physical. Yeah, too physical. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. I know sports in general is different, but intimidation is important, and that doesn't mean bad. People associate yeah, intimidation bad. with somebody something bad. really bad sometimes, but it it, it plays a yeah. part. I mean, Mike Tyson, Tyson in his I heyday took the words right out of my mouth. He had them beat before he came in the ring, and mm-hmm. that's my dad he always had no socks on, no no robe, just walked black in, trunk, yeah, ready to go. Your fucking head, and off. that's what it was. And my dad mm-hmm. always taught me that, and he used to talk about the old Raiders yeah. from the old days, yeah, the, old the, days. the the, the when they were yeah. assassins, and yeah. um, you know it plays a part, and. Um, you know, things are different now, but it's still there's still a place for it. It's just a different way to mold it sometimes. Yeah, we absolutely. went to the Tyson fight, me and Michael, Abu Nam. We went to, it was a convention center, Atlantic City. I've seen a lot of his fights. Yeah. I don't know who it was. Spinks, one of them. Michael said, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I said, you better wait. Yeah. No, I'll make it. <laughs> yeah. Listen, he went to the bathroom, he knocked him out. Yeah. That quick, came done. Out, boom. My dad tells a story like that, same thing. Atlantic City said, I went to one boxing fight growing up, and it was a Tyson fight, and same thing. He yeah. saw it, but he's like, it was like Second, that. Seconds. He had you beat. But it, but it, Come it, right after. It plays, it plays a part. And in hockey, too. Um, I was watching a, a, a basketball video the other day, like Bird and Magic. The Pistons. The best. Pistons, yeah. Listen to me. If they did what they did back then now, oh. that these guys would quit. Can't. You can't you do can't anything touch now. You can't now. No, you listen, I know. They, Got fucking killed. Yeah. Insane. Garnett you know, was even talking about yeah. it. There's no flagrant foul back then. No. They well, were punching each other, still being in the game. We, yeah. we, we, you know, I grew up, you know, a Knicks fan in the early 90s when Jordan would come. I went to, a, I only saw Jordan live once, and, uh, you know, we had Charles Oakley, and it was like physical. Team. Those Very were physical. Big, yeah. But that's how it's but supposed it's, to be. I can't watch box. I mean, uh, excuse me, I can't watch basketball anymore. It's just not. It's just it's not. It's it's it's, it is. it's you're chucking a ball from half court. Half court you're it. not even trying to. Well, drive Steph Curry court. changed the game yeah. with the yeah. threes. He's shooting from half court. Yeah, but there's no point. Nobody plays defense. That's all the kids. No, you go by Rogers Park and Danbury, the basketball court. These kids just they're chucking. Yeah, yeah they shoot we, from every half court. once in a while we'd have fun trying to make one from right. half court. Now these kids would form. Right? No, That's where they I'm shoot like, from. What the hell's going no, on? Yeah. It's a sports change. No defense. No defense. Nobody plays defense. What's the totals in the, in the basketball? 240, 240, 250. I remember they used to be 168, 170 yeah. when the Pistons played. Yeah. Back you know how crazy is for a team to score 130 points by themselves? They run up and down the court and score. I mean, I remember when you hit 100 points, that was a big yeah. game. Big deal. It's now insane. it's if you don't hit 100, yeah. it's, it's something's wrong. The All-Star you know? game, but if it's the fucking total on the All-Star, it's like the 375. I mean, I mean, you I'm got a beat average in 40. Let's just say you got a Giannis average yeah. in 40. These guys are putting up 40 points a game. That's it, insane. And it, they're not playing the fourth quarter because no. they're blowouts. Yeah. No. Well, think about it. They're fresh. There's no contact. There's no boxing out. Nothing. There's, no. You're fresh, you know? I mean, it, it's a— uh, Hockey every shift, you're not fresh. No. Hockey is—and listen, hockey, it's funny. You talk to the real purest hockey. It, it, the game is different, too, but it's still— you can't avoid the physicality no. with, with, with hockey. No, you and, can't. Um, you Listen, know what, you get, I hit you here. Yeah. Football, you fall. Yeah. Hockey, you hit, you hit in the wall. Yeah. Yeah. You get crushed. That class, oh, yeah. too. I told you, I got crushed that time. I kicked off. I thought it was dead. I thought my tongue came out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. I was like fucking. You played ice hockey? Yeah. Or oh, yeah. So did I. For New York really? High School. Yeah, I played. I played wow. Uh, Coliseum in Jersey. Okay. This fucking guy checked me. I swear to God, I was little. I was yeah. like fucking The kids on my team were like 200 pounds. I yeah. Was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like 95 pounds. <laughs> yeah. I went in the corner to get a. He hit me uh, so hard. I thought my my mouthpiece fell. I thought my tongue fell. I was out cold. Yeah, out cold. I, See that? I, same thing in high school. I got hit by a kid. I recently talked about this on our podcast. I I, re- I got hit by a kid once. You know when you get hit, you automatically kind of blink. Of you know course. I mean? He hit me so hard, I didn't even have time to blink. Right. I just remember boom, whoop, right, right on my ass. I'm looking up at the star. I mean, like yeah. like a cartoon. Yeah. I mean, 
Listen, it'll take your breath away, and it's uh, it's something about getting hit in a cold yeah. atmosphere yeah, too. It's, it's different. It's, yeah. it's a little different. And you you had some heavy hitters on your team. Oh yeah, yeah. Listen, well, who the one guy in the documentary? Wingfield. Wing, and he when he seen your father in the documentary, he started crying. Yes, that's when I knew that was the, that was a real deal thing. Yeah, he had so much respect for your old man. But yeah, yeah. How about him fighting? He First play was, of the game, uh, boom, yeah. gloves off, ready so, to go. So, so. We announced Brenton Gretzky as our first player. But you got rough too from the Devils, right? Michael Ruff, yeah, in uh during the lockout year, yeah. You no, know crazy it is to have him. Well, I got a Donald Brashear story for you too. Really? Philly, uh, he was flyer at the time yeah, for the sure. lockout. But so we signed Wingfield first. Okay. That was our first like verbal sign and, and this guy was like you know, you you watch some hockey fights, it's like boxing. You got guys that are a little pretty, they're just trying to jab, stay this guy was like he enjoyed fighting. Like he yeah. enjoyed. He didn't like a lot of hockey players. They fight because that's how they stay on the team. Yeah. Wing, wing. I was looking for the guys that liked it, and this guy Winger was. I mean, he was. Um, I mean, he showed me all his little tricks. He, he like, was ready at all times. He was, and, and, and I mean, we had. He was like a big brother because when he <laughs> broke his leg that year, he stayed during the off season at my house. He was. My, he was like a big brother for two months, and wow. to, uh, uh, but he is—he was the real deal. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, so our first year was the lockout of '04, which helped us because there was no other hockey in the Danbury. And, you know, people go to Ranger game, right. Devils, Islanders, even Boston, even Philly. But now they're looking for it, and here we are. And selling um, out every night. <laughs> so yeah, it was—it was like it was—it was so it, it played to our advantage. And um, Mike Rupp, we got. And we were, so I was like, Dad, let's try to create, even if it's for a few games, like a fantasy enforcer line, bring these guys in. Yeah, yeah. So Donald Brashear from the fly, he was on the Flyers at the time, was yeah, like was arguably top three toughest guy. In the yeah, he was. He was an animal. No, so we were talking with him, and there was a kid, uh, he's not a kid anymore, Georges Larac. He was playing for Edmonton Oilers, another big guy. And um, there was someone else, Scott. P.J. Stock of the Bruins. There was, like, all these NHL enforcers. Yeah, And yeah. we wanted them. And uh, we came this close to Brashear, but he ended up signing in Quebec. Okay. Where, forget it. I mean, those guys up there, they pay, like... They play a they're lot on of a money. Whole, they're on a whole nother level right. what they're paying you. And um, Sean Avery. You know Sean Avery? Of course. This close. And I wish my what? dad... Avery's big with... Kevin Connolly's podcast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so Sean Avery, yeah. I mean, if there was anybody that embodied what a trash it was, it's Sean Avery. Really? That guy is uh it, They say a he's throw, a good time to be around, Throwback too. guy, could do everything, score, fight, a pest. He was playing in our league during the lockout, Motor City, because he was, I think he was on the Detroit Red Wings at the time. I wish we still had the voicemail. I remember him calling us right by the trade deadline. We tried to get him. It was so close, but uh, it's probably better off he didn't come to us because Lord knows we would have... We would have gotten some trouble together, <laughs> yeah. like more than we did. So, uh, but yeah, it was just um, it's a luck of the draw. We had that lockout that year because a yeah. lot of people, who knows if they would have tried to give us a chance to right. watch yeah. if, if they had all these other options. So, absolutely, yeah, guys are tough. Ty yeah. Domi was the best. Oh yeah, yeah. Ty was three hundred thirteen fights. Now that's the record, right? Three hundred thirteen yes. fights. That's the record. Most... That's my that's my buddy. Yeah, yeah. Ty is. Um, he's little. He's, little he's not a big guy. Running. My tough motherfucker, man. He had the greatest strategy as a, as a yeah. smaller guy. Absolutely, he, the spinner Rooney. So spin, he, yeah. would, he would he would spin you, you yeah. and you had no choice right. but to go with him. And he got these leverage on these. And he first put, of all, he's got a head he like to, a bowling ball. His head's as neck is big. Yeah, he used to pull you in and hit and hit you. You boom, cannot. Boom. How about the fight in the penalty box? In oh, Philly? He was fighting That's the fans. The oh, that was in Philly. That's yeah. in Philly. Yeah. He, was oh, he grabs the, tr the Maple Leafs fan. Yeah. Boom! Right into the penalty box. Oh, man, you and he wound up it. becoming friends with that guy yeah. though. After he took him yeah. to dinner, they yeah, wound up the becoming story. close. Yeah, he, he got him tickets. So yeah, yeah. Hockey he's a guy, good man, Ty. His son, son's a good player. Yeah, Max is yeah. a really good yeah. player. Yeah. So so hockey players and hockey fans are such a different. Exactly, they all fight each other. Absolutely, and that's what I learned. It, it, with, with you know, growing up, I didn't know any better. I wasn't a pro hockey player. So growing up, I thought these guys hated each other. You know, you, they're just beating the hell out of each and other. And they're going to dinner that night. But I didn't know that. So when I started the team, you know, I'm very, I'm old school. Where like you're either a trasher or you're not. Yeah, you know what I simple. mean? And, and then when I'm Wingfield would teach me how it worked. They're like, nah, we all grew up with each other. We're friends. Yeah. But we have a job. And you got to do your job. 
So I, I, you know, he taught me this whole code of between these enforcers, how it works. And, um, it's amazing what they, what it was like. And, um, but yeah, growing up, you just assume oh, these guys hate each other, yeah. but they're like the greatest yeah. guys you could have on a team. Yeah, and, um, we'll go to every, like every like community event. There yeah. was always the tough guys that would be there. Of course, they always are. Yeah. No, and, um, guys. But it's yeah, a, it's a crazy story though, how that all transpires and it, and then it ended. Yeah, we well, well listen, won. it's, you know, Uncle Sam came knocking, and that was really it. And that was I mean, the end you know, of it. Was your, father, your poor father went to the candy. Yeah, it was, it <laughs> was you unfortunate. Get, you got 10 was, years for the hockey team? Uh, uh, no, it wasn't no. for the hockey oh, team. I, it was, it was, uh, it was, uh, another but case. you know, you know how it goes. They, they roped the hockey into it. Right. So it yeah. was, it was a Rico case with a lot of other things, with more of the garbage business. Right. And then, um, then somehow he we charged to defraud the league. I don't know how yeah, we were going to defraud the league, but we were defrauding the United Hockey League. And yeah, of course, uh, but yeah, I mean it was um they 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 didn't indict him, but they subpoenaed players. Right, and yeah, how much were you much. getting? And did you get guys, su- did you get subpoenaed too? Somehow no. And, because I heard and your it, father say yeah, that in the documentary. And, and, and well, they did. You know, it was a strategy. You could see what they were doing. They were trying to get them to flip. It wasn't going to happen. And then the last ditch effort was we're gonna we're gonna um, go after your son because he was going to go to trial. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, it was it started. You know how it started yeah. at a hundred something counts, and it, but he was going to go to. And then they were like, "Well, listen, if you don't, you know, cooperate, we're going to see AJ." And and my dad talked to me. And he's like, "I'm not going to cooperate. Whatever happened, I'm like, whatever happens, happens. That yeah. I whatever. I'm not you. worried." And then. They, they instead of the then they just wanted to just get it over. So he took a plea and uh, I think it was like eighty seven months or something yeah. like that. Uh, Allenwood, Pennsylvania, yeah. and um, but no, I mean um, it was it was it just it's unfortunate because you know the first year the trashers was actually hard try to you know build a brand and trying to yeah, yeah. get people to want to come and pay hard earned money to come to a game, and then the second year was fun. Yeah. And you just, we were on top of the world. I mean, me personally as a kid going back and forth between college and coming back home and doing the. I mean, were you single back then during this run? <laughs> I get asked this I mean, every he's time. He's got to be the king. And he's no, got to be the king. I the was, listen to me. I was, I was in a six-year relationship. Wow. I never even ended up with her. I, I, Look I, at that. Mom, close your ears. Yeah. I, I wasted two years where I, I could have. But you know what? I, I'll be honest with you. My personality, no one at my college other than three people knew about the trial. I didn't go around talking. Right. So, yeah, I didn't, yeah. Brad, it really yeah. wasn't because that's just being raised old, my dad, right. really humble, school. like, my dad would let me, if I ever got cocky, my dad would, would I mean. It'd be the break show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And a yeah. few times, I, you know, I mean, as a kid, you, you start to feel yourself a little bit, and he'll bring you down real quick. Even my mm-hmm. mom. So, not a lot of people, but yes, I did have a, and so that's many people funny. asked me. Yeah, that. that's, that's you what I was thinking. You could have ran wild a little bit, but it's probably better. It all worked out how it had that's to work out. Kid, these kids are all fucked up that they don't get hit. No, yeah. no, I, no, I, it's true. People think I'm not. Time well, out. Fucking well, time out. Yeah, time no, out. No, I mean, the box, I mean, my son is one. I mean, 15 months now, and, and uh, you know, I, if he does something wrong, we'd let him know yeah, now. Because yeah, you got you to gotta let him know now. Listen, and, I went to Catholic school. Yeah. I'm going back. They locked me. I used to have to stay after school every day. Oh, this is a good story. <laughs> he told me this. Listen, they locked every day I had to stay after school. Yeah. We were bad in school. The nuns. It was all nuns. Yeah. You're here. Like, see here, couldn't touch your collar. Yeah. I had father glue. He came in and tried to cut my hair in the school. Get the fuck out, I told him. <laughs> yeah. I'm right in the classroom. Yeah. They locked us in. They used to take us to the comet after school. Got out like 3 o'clock, yeah. 3 15, sit in the comet till 5 o'clock. I used to sit in the room and watch fucking give piano lessons. Yeah, yeah. That there's a good piano lesson. Yeah. One day, the nun, Sister Josephine Dolores, put me in the basement because we were shooting spitballs at the, 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 <laughs> yeah. when they were playing the piano, right? They put us in the basement. She forgot me down there. They locked me in the basement. <laughs> Fucking eleven thirty at night. My mother had to come. They didn't know where I was. Yeah, no. I never came home from school. <laughs> wow. They locked me in. The, it was like a dungeon. Your too. mother had to be <laughs> on the dungeon. <laughs> the beatings we got. Listen, I, I won't want to know the way though. I'm yeah. Really, listen. Yeah. They beat the fucking brakes <laughs> off us. Yeah. Well, I, with an I, iron ruler. I roll it. Like, whatever you did yeah. wrong. I, Boom. I, bought every fucking day. Me, Whoa. Tory, Vinny, INA, Smart. We, Lance, we got yeah. <laughs> beat the shit I, out. I, I, I Today you do that? No. To fucking to put I the nuns in jail. I, I, I Sick. I, I couldn't be a school teacher. Some of the stuff I see these kids. No. But the kids know. They can get it. What are you going to do? Nothing. I mean, and, and that's the thing with my boxing gym is... um. 
I tell these kids right away, because, you know, some kids come from tougher backgrounds. I'm like, listen, don't, that stuff here, that's not going to work. Yeah, yeah, we only work. had in not, almost nine years at my gym, we only had one incident where a kid was trying to act a certain way, and we stuck him in a ring with an 80 pound kid, and the kid beat the, the shit, shit out of him. And it, hopefully, it yeah. I never saw the kid again after, right. but hopefully he learned a lesson. But uh, you can't do, you, yeah. you, you can't, um, and the kids know, there's, there's nothing. Absolutely. There's nothing a teacher could do about no. it. They got to sit there with a camera in their face and take it. Well, everybody has I mean, a phone. Listen, Can't you never it. heard of fucking back when we were kids. You never heard of a school shooting. Never. No, never. never. I never heard. I mean, no. we got, we got My fights. parents were saying that the other night. The fucking, no, it's, it's fucking shootings every day. Well, even Danbury, that's not, I'll be honest. Danbury is not a bad city. There's stuff that goes on. You don't really hear about it, but it's not a, it's not, it's not a tough, tough city. It's yeah. not like Brooklyn, Philadelphia, but I mean, these kids, they're why You got to assume a kid, and I'm I'm a sitting duck sometimes in my gym where I am, and no. these kids come, they're having a bad day. You you got to be yeah. on guard because yeah. these kids, um, not a they're, they're built different. They're yeah, built, yeah. they're built. They are. They're in a, they got not, no fear. They don't care. They, they, they have no morals. And it, it's, 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 it, listen, I mean, I don't get scared over much, but kids, they got, they're not scared of anything. They're just no. like, they'll come and, I mean, I got no, a wife and kid now. I got a family. I, I. I, I, I live a little different now. Right. And these kids will come. They don't care. They'll blow your head up. Yeah, There's nothing you can do. I know. They're and then they'll up. plead crazy and yeah. they won't even go to jail. Yeah. I know. So, They're all whacked up. Is that what you're doing now in boxing? After the trashers end? Yeah. You start. I know you said you got a regular job. So, yeah. And now you're doing boxing. So, you know, we lost a team in 06. And um, I still had two years of college. I went to Manhattanville College, like right outside of White Plains, New York, like 35 minutes from Danbury. And, um... You know, I finished school. I, it was a depressing time. My dad was on house arrest, so it was just everything changed. Everything was so de- adjustment. Yeah. And um, of course, you know, um, my dad always says, "I wish that I just would have went away for two years and they credited yeah. me." He was like, yeah. "Being home was worse." worse. Yeah, you're getting tortured. He, he goes, "It's because and there's the temptation." And, and, and that's, oh, the time, the time don't count when you're on house no, arrest. No, so wow. two full years he's sitting there, right. and and it's like you know in his basement he he became like a lawyer he had all everything yeah. the three old everything and and uh, it's funny he would be listening to every minute of every recording and it was funny one day he calls me down I thought I was gonna get in trouble for something and I go down and he goes listen to this. I go, ah, oh. I put it on, and it's me arguing with my girlfriend at the time. <laughs> yeah. and it was it was funny, and and it was one of those moments in those two years we both looked and started. It was a, f- you got to embrace those funny right. moments sometimes. Yeah. And he was laughing. It was one of the first times I saw him laugh during those two years. Me arguing with my girl. And yeah, yeah. When you hear yourself, yeah, and yeah, I wasn't doing anything. Voice. It's like your ass starts to pucker. You're like, oh god, that's. But it's funny and um. So, yeah, you know, in 08, I graduated. I was lucky enough that he was able, he got some sort of um, permission to watch me graduate college, which was nice. Nice. And um, he went away October, you know what's weird? He went away October 15th, 08, which was four years to the day of the first Trasher game. I Ain't that crazy Weird. how time works? And, um, yeah, that was it. That was was it. And then I, I worked for an oil company from 08 to for 10, you know, 10 years, but you know, something was missing out of my life. You felt you know? dead. And, and, and I did this, I don't know. I just got so used to the action. There has to be something going right. on and, and I have yeah. an obsessive personality. So I was like, I want to be involved. I'm competitive. And again, I wasn't a boxing fan growing up. I knew nothing about boxing. And, um, 2011 comes three years after I graduate. And a, a guy I know still a, a dear friend of mine back home, yeah, uh, old old pro boxer, heavyweight, Dominican guy. Okay. Uh, Fernelli Feliz came to me. Uh, we we one, one thing led to another. We're talking. I didn't really know him at the time. And he's like, you know, he had heard about my involvement with the Trashers and sports. And he's like, you ever think about getting in boxing? I'm like, no. What, what do you mean get into boxing? I'm not gonna box. He goes, no, you don't have to box. You wanna wanna be like a manager, advisor. I'm like, what the hell does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And um, <clears throat> I don't know. One thing led to another. The next day, I woke up and I'm like. Fuck I'm it. not married. I, I'm, I'm still at home with my mom and sister. I don't have a lot of expense. I'm like, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> the greatest and worst decision I ever made in my life. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, because then it was like, you know, you, you know, if you, certain type of guy, like you start managing a fighter now, it's like, no, nah, I want to manage another guy and another guy and another guy. Now we need a gym. Danbury never, you know, doesn't have a boxing gym. So I'm like, so I started the gym in 2015 and, um, 
you know, there's some days I want to burn the gym down, and there's some days where I leave and I see all the kids, and I'm like, this is this was it's nice. Worth you it. know, it's worth yeah. it. You do a lot of, you know, like you yeah. got me. Yeah. What you guys do for the community is is, is really motivating, and, and to a lesser degree, we do similar stuff, yeah. and that's what it's about, the yeah. kids, and and that's where I get the most joy with boxing is getting these kids, and um, we don't push them to compete or fight amateur pro. I mean, we have a lot of pros out of there, a lot of amateurs now. We've really built a culture. Um, just like we built a hockey culture, now we're building a, a boxing, boxing culture. culture. Yeah, and, that's nice. But uh, it's for me, it's the joy of doing stuff for the for kids, kids yeah. the clothing drives, the yeah, you know, nice. all that's to well, me. Like the Joey's biggest been thing. doing that forever. And oh yeah, this year, the past yeah, he year, he oh, had. Yeah. I, I I couldn't believe yeah the support when we first started this. I mean, we raised seventy one thousand dollars in two weeks. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I, I talk to you a lot. Support, yeah. I, I talk to uh, I talk to you a lot on text a lot. You know, I watch all your guys' stuff, and I'm not blowing <coughs> smoke. I mean, if I'm if I'm lying, I'm I'm flying. Listen, I what you guys do is I can't explain what it means to me, and it doesn't affect me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. just how I grew up and motivate it, you. It, it yes, it motiv And, and yeah. as a matter of fact, we weren't going to do it when I saw you guys doing around Thanksgiving. We ended up. I'm like spur the moment. Let's do a clothing drive. Yeah. Same thing. Right. Yeah. Help a church locally, and um, that's what it's about. It and it's it's it's. And I also know the difference between somebody who's doing it for for genuine yeah, reasons. Yeah. It's right. someone that's like, yeah. hey, yeah. look at me. Oh, I just gave this right. guy a hamburger. Oh, of course. And you could tell, like, I just my authenticity meter is different. I can right. tell. Yeah. He used to bust kids in. What year was that, Joe? In the 80s or 90s? 90s. 90s. He used to bust load kids in well, at Christmas dinner. I mean, listen, I, I got I to gotta tell you a funny story, too. I, growing up, I mean, um, you know, I, I, you just know real people. And um, Joey Merlino, the first time I heard you, I saw a, a, a newscast of the, I think it was um, the turkeys. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. And I was young. I mean, I was a little kid. I'm like... That guy's the man. And I remember, this is a true story. I go to Macy's around Christmas time that year. I got to be six. I mean, I'm assuming, I mean, this got to be the early 90s or something. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember. Yeah. I was. Yeah. And I remember going to Macy's. It was a week after seeing the newscast. And, um, you know, like Italian merino wool right. sweaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go and my mom's looking at sweaters. I'm like, merino. And I was just like, Merlino. I was like, Merlino Wolf. I was like, this guy's got all the sweaters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, this guy's the guy. Yeah, I, and yeah. I just, every time I see Merino Wolf, yeah. I laugh because I, I, I always it thought it was, thought it was Joey uh -huh. had all the Merlino Wolves. I was like, oh my God, this it guy sticks is, with you. It does, but it, it affects. That's what people don't get. It affects. I mean, what you did for these kids, they'll yeah. never forget it. No, I get, ever forget. Ever. I get people text me now and say, you did it like they're, they're yeah. like five years old. Yeah. They're like 35 now. I know. You know so you, well, I, how about at the Fitzwater Cafe? The yeah. guy comes up, he says, I want you to tell Joey something for me. I said, sure. Yeah. What's up? He said, he helped my wife out when he came during Christmas time. Yeah. He gave my wife $1,500 because he knew I was away. Yeah, and yeah. he said, buy your kids everything. When well, I he, went, to, we had the, the, the hangout on uh, 6th and 5th. Fitzwater. Fitzwater. Yeah, yeah. The, at Catherine Street. How many electric bills I paid? I, yeah. I went out one time that the fucking the electric motherfucker was there. Yeah. Shut the lady's electric. Everyone. The yeah. lady's fucking 90 years old. It's, yeah. it's crazy. I said, what are you, you going to leave this lady in the fucking, it was yeah. summertime. No yeah. fucking air. No, we got to cut it off. I gave him 800. I got to give me a total yeah. lady. Yeah, 800. I'm going to fucking make the lady die But that's out. the things you yes. don't hear about. And, and that's the thing is like my dad growing up, I mean, I would sit in his office. He had this big office. It's like the king up there. And everyone come up. And as a young kid, I'm telling you, I would see people come in, drivers, um, salesmen, whoever, who's having this issue. And I would see my dad all the time here, yeah. here. Always helping And people. I would always, and I remember, I remember um, he never wanted people to know, right. you know. Yeah. And, and, yeah. That, and that's how I am with a lot of stuff, yeah. too. And, and going back, you know what? We might as well talk about it. I remember, and I didn't play f organized football in high school. Yeah. My buddy did. I remember. This is a true story. My junior year of, of high school, so we're talking 0203. Fall of 02, we're sitting at a football game, my high school, cold. We were like like a day like this, cold, and um my dad's there and uh we're watching my buddy play and he's just the play's over here and he's staring straight. My dad's a thinker. And I'm yeah. like, Dad, you all right? Like, what's wrong? He goes, You see that light post over there? And I'm like, Yeah, I think my dad's losing it. He goes, you see how it's crooked? My dad's like OCD, yeah, yeah. OCCCD. And he's like, that light pole, that wouldn't, it's crooked. I said, I don't care. Who gives a shit, right? The next day, I go to his yard. 
I was driving at the time. I go there, and he's got on his desk, like, architect papers. And I'm like, oh, what is this nut up to now? So I'm like, Dad, what is that? He goes, remember yesterday at the game, I, that, that, that light <laughs> yeah, pole? Yeah, yeah. I said, yeah. He goes, I decided I'm going to fix it, and while I'm at it, I'm going to redo the whole field. I don't like how the field looks. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that summer, every day, I'd go with him, see what was going on, and it was a beautiful field. And I remember the athletic director at the time was like, this, you know, they're blowing smoke. Oh, you guys are the best. Of course. Thank you. We're going to name it Galanti Stadium. And my dad, right away, he, he was very serious. And I remember, like yesterday, he goes, no. He goes, listen. I don't want, do not put Galanti Stadium. Do not put that up there. Yeah. Oh, why? No. And he was like, no, no, really, don't do it. And he was dead serious. And the guy's like, okay, we won't. All right. Opening day comes. They want you there at the 50-yard line. Thank you. And um, they're going to unveil the, the new stadium. And sure as shit, they, they bring the sign down, Galanti Stadium. My dad was seething, but he had a smile. Oh, of thank course, you. Yeah. My dad was livid when we got home. Two done, years later, done, two years later, the yeah, shit hit the fan, and yeah. and not even like it was like the, the paint wasn't even dry on the indictment, and all of a sudden down. it was an uproar. Yeah. Take it down, yeah, take it down. And and um, my dad was like, I, my it dad won't. will never admit it, but that one still to this day Bob bugs him. him. Yeah, and he's like, I didn't want that to be, I didn't right. even want that to begin with. Yeah. And, they don't and, want to go to weddings. Nobody wants to go to a funeral. And, and I truth. remember there was one guy that was like, "We'll give him the money back for yeah. the field." Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 yeah. he can't, he can't do, he can't yeah. do that. Stuff. They only want to go to weddings, never yeah. funeral. That's yeah. the truest statement yeah. ever. That's the truth. They only want to ride with you when you're high. Yeah. But yeah. That's it. And, and, you go bad, forget about it. But they but but it's okay because you know, like I said, all those things you always find a lesson out of it, and um. You know, it, it, it was. I learned so much through him. Just not even, not even lessons. Like he look at you and, and yeah. tell you. So, it was just right. everything I observed from like five years old on White Street, going to the right. damn yard. So you learn a lot, man. Well, let me ask you a question. Now we'll get into the little sports topic. What about NFL? We'll switch a little bit off of the hockey right now. Who you uh, like to win the Super Bowl this year? I tell you what, uh, I was thinking Niners. But it just seems like too obvious of a choice. See, I'm a weird guy. Yeah. Like I get like I like like I know there's numbers and analytics and all this stuff, but I think we get too bogged down into it. I feel like I feel like the NFC there's someone gonna come out of nowhere. I, know. I, I don't know who it's it gonna, gonna be. It's, it's not gonna be the Eagles this year, I'll tell you that. No, much. That's Listen, true. I yeah. think Detroit is angry right now. So I say it every week, Detroit. I think Detroit is angry from robbed. this last game. They got and right I now. think with the coach they have, he's got a pair of balls on him. I think it's one of those cities where that Cinderella story and it's like I feel like them getting screwed out of that game no, is going to motivate them the guy reported. to take. They told him. He walked up to him and <laughs> said it. Why watch the video? I, I don't and understand. And they also, he said number 70, we're going to put him in, but it's not, you know, he's not going, yeah. to, it's not going to him. They told him. I don't him. get it. Yeah. It's fixed. I've been telling you, stick on yeah. nuts. I say it. You know, I've been watching the pie and you've been saying it and, and it's like a movie I'm like script. starting to watch it now and I'm like. It's getting like wrestling. Some, now. Yeah, sometimes yeah. where there's smoke, there's fire, and it's like you think about all this gambling stuff, and it's, it's like these money. refs. How do you know, know these refs aren't the prop, the prop bets? It's, it's crazy. It's, but I don't know. There's something about Detroit that's just you never know. I feel like I don't know. I'm, Detroit, I'm, Buffalo, I like too. Buffalo, Bo- that's a big Bo- game. Joey Sunday. likes Baltimore. Bo- but Bo- I Baltimore, think, I think, Baltimore's I think Lamar tough. Jack just got the MVP. The I know. Day. And he's on four passing touchdowns. I feel whoever comes out of the AFC is going to win it all, yeah. in my opinion. I, I Listen, I'm not a huge analyzer with stuff, but I don't know. There's something about Detroit and the NFC. I just feel like that, I like them. The Rams and Detroit. Yeah. yeah. I know, score, me too. team score. I feel, like score. The, I feel like the Niners, it's too obvious. It's, right. It just seems like it's... I know. I don't know. I don't I don't know. Detroit. I'm, I'm going to stick with Detroit. All right, I'm going to record with Detroit going to who, Super Bowl. Who you like this week in the national championship game? That's a big game, too. I like Washington. He likes Washington, plus four and a half. I like Washington. I can't talk about college. I don't know. Yeah. I don't I'm, know I'm anything a, about college. I'm really. going to go I'm gonna go Michigan. I am going to go Michigan, minus four and a half. I do like Michigan. He likes Washington. I do like Michigan. I do like, of course, the coach. <laughs> well, the that's, coach. The, that's why I didn't give no bowl games out. I know. I, the only get, well, I didn't give them out yesterday. I liked, I have both winners. I like Michigan. Yeah. I like Washington. All the other ball games, they didn't play nobody. Nobody plays because yeah. of money. State, it's all well, about yeah. money. Florida State got robbed. They, yeah, they play, they play one starter on the defense. They're yeah, it's 50, crazy. 50, who's who's underdog? underdog? Who's the underdog? Washington's the underdog. Right, I'll go. I'll yeah. go. <laughs> don't right. don't, like don't use me. Don't use me for real money. Yeah. But I'm going well, to listen. Just our people are big on these picks. Yeah, well, I'll, you two are the Let experts. me tell you a funny Let story about <laughs> yesterday about Joey. We're coming down Broad Street. Five guys stopped me yesterday. Philadelphia police. Yeah, 
They stopped me. We want to know the picks. That's all they wanted to know. We want to know the picks. <laughs> oh, but man. You yeah, want me nice. to get my NFL, yeah, Joe, you go, or you want me you to go? go first. I'm going to go with Detroit. AJ even likes Detroit. Detroit minus five over the Vikings. I love them. I'm going to go Cleveland plus five and a half away over Cincinnati. Joe Flacco is on fire, fire. right now. Yeah, he is. Green Bay, home, minus three over the Bears. Green Bay, for some reason, Joey likes Green Bay, too. I, I like love Green, Green Bay. Bay. Yeah. They're just a good team and a great that qu- organization. That quarterback's good. He is. Jordan and Love, right? Jordan yeah. Love. What's his name? Said it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Rogers, when he when he left. He's, he's great. Jordan band. loves it. And he, he studied, and he studied. He's smart. Well, he he's, is smart. He's, he's still behind uh, fucking Rogers yeah. for two years. He learned. So I, and then I like Buffalo minus three away over Miami this week. Yeah, like hopefully, we're at, game. Ho- hopefully we're at that game. I like, I like Buffalo. I minus like, two. Okay, yeah, minus three. Minus two and a half, three. I like Tampa Bay. Over minus, Carolina. Minus the five. And uh, Jacksonville, I like. And I also, I'll be honest with you, I ain't going to lie. I, I, I like your, your game too, Green Bay. You like to, yeah, Green Bay. Yeah. Green Bay's a good team. Yeah. Listen, good. let one of these teams sneak in. You never know what no, could happen. No, no. That's what like I mean about team. that NFC, yeah, too. NFC. I, I know. feel like the NFC is going to be so random. The youngest team in football. Yes, they do. Yeah. All the receivers are good. The, the tight end craft, he's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Listen, they're good. there's a lot of good, good teams. The NFC is going to be the wild card. Yeah. Yeah. With AFC is the usual suspects, yeah. but yeah. I feel Kansas like, I don't know, there's someone. Listen, we were watching the Eagles game the other day. We watched Sunday football together when he's home. There's There's... 20 yeah. of us that day. I mean, literally, there was 20 guys. Yeah. I texted you about the parade. Yeah, yeah. How the Eagles lost that game, what they're <laughs> doing, I, I can't figure out what's happening. I really can't. I It's to the point now where it's like, is something wrong? Something's wrong in the locker room. The coaches, are Sorry, they not man. putting this Jalen Hurts in a position to win? Well, he's always in the shotgun. Always in shotgun. Never, ever. The under whole center, game, under center, it. one time. I know. They never got a guy in motion. No. That that's the tough thing about I mean, I being know a fan. You you don't know what's you really, don't know because that affects it, you know. And I know, like going back to the trash yeah. days, when there's a little cancer in the locker room and there's something going on, and there was yeah. stuff at times going on, it reflects. So I you know. never know. It they just, were up fifteen. They lost. I know. Do you know how crazy it is to say? You know the uh, uh, who they play? Uh, Arizona. Arizona. Yeah, they had four possessions in the second half. They scored a touchdown in every possession. That's what I mean. The defense. How the fuck you let them fucking score uh, everything? They I don't stink. Know. They do stink. They, they got really three fucking do. wins. They and and the the other part about it is AJ Brown. Yeah, the Eagles. Receiver, yeah, he's always fighting with somebody. But oh, I yeah, gotta give great. him. He's, he's unbelievable. Give him the ball. Yeah. DeAndre Swift is the running back. Why aren't you handing yeah. the ball off to him? They don't run. They will not. run. I think within ten years is not even a running back position. Yeah. That's what we were saying that's too. What I said. Yeah, yeah. They, they I don't think. Better. I think yeah. within ten years, you that that's not just yeah. like the full, they used to be fullbacks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ten years is no running back. <laughs> it's it's uh, the truth. And they don't want to pay them either. No, no, nobody. No, no. Exactly. I'm a Raider fan. Josh Jacobs. They didn't. Want to pay yeah, him. He hasn't done anything anyway. I, I, I mean, like Josh. I had him in fantasy this year. Yeah, well, well he oh who knows God. what's gonna happen with the NFL, but before we end this, I know we I wanted to ask you this question. Sure. How like what how do you feel about loyalty? Because I know you oh, don't like rats. Oh, well, listen, I mean because they report us every week, so oh, we just I, can't uh, listen, you know, it's it's loyalty to me is is you're either born that way or you're not. I don't 100%. believe. I don't. I don't believe that you yeah. can learn it. You yeah. either are oh, or you're, you're not. Right. And I and I. It's I think born in you. It just takes time to come out. I, I you just, were born a rat. And, and that's yeah. and and it's not where you're raised. It's how you're no. raised. And 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 honestly, um, it's one of those things where. It, if you're not a loyal person, yeah, it's hard to understand why loyal people get upset right. exactly. over things they get. It's like it's like it's just. I don't know, you know, and, and again, I grew up around the term rats and this and that. I, I get it, and it's like, and I just felt like in the old days it was like more of a shock factor when you heard someone right. was a yeah. certain way, or and and any any walk of life, you know what I mean? Because a rat doesn't necessarily have to indicate criminal stuff. It could be whoever. It could yeah. be you're just a rat type of snake weasel. You know, yeah, you're a weasel. Uh, your teams have rats or well, snakes, and the government calls them whistleblowers. <laughs> yeah, whistleblowers. <laughs> yeah, 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 whistleblower. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I just, I just, I just think um, you either are or you're not. And I, I think it's, it's, it's. I hate to say it. It's to try to explain to people who aren't loyal people yeah. why well, you, you, you said the right thing. Yeah, it, it affects people that are loyal. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, you know, it's, the other people they don't give a fuck. No, they, I, they do the same thing. That's don't. why they. That's why these rats got all these subscribers and all because can, uh, people like it. They <laughs> like it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's 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 a crazy yeah. thing to think. Listen, about. I said it. I said a thing years ago. When we were in jail. Now they used to have. We were in Farrington holdover. There's like fucking fifteen hundred inmates. Yeah. 
whatever it is, thousand inmates, whatever. Then they had across the street. You could see it from the yard. They had the wood sack. Okay. Like the where they keep the, mm-hmm. the rats. Yeah. I told them twenty years from now we're going to be in there and all the rats are going to be here. It's somebody well, fucking rats door. It, you're out numbered. It's crazy. It, yeah. It's 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 strange. And you know, visiting my father, you know, all those years, you know, you I'm looking at it from a different point my, of view, and it's like, I don't know. It's just a weird. It's just so I don't know. It's. The, I don't know. It's just I grew up, and that's just not something you do. Yeah, it's just not. It's just yeah. not, and it doesn't have to be something a serious. It's just right. like if my sister hit me over the head right. with something, I'm not. I okay. just. It's just weird You're for me to go to my mom yeah, and say, say Candace just hit me in the head with, it, with something. It's just when I see it, it's just because it's so normalized now. Yeah, no, it's, sick. It, it's very well, sad. They glorify it. They know? glorify it's, it. It's very well, weird, but it's just a like why? How did just, this happen? Fox News hired Sammy the Bull to to be a. There you go. And I like Fox News. I mean, they, they hired Sammy the Bull to be a, a co-host. Yeah. Something fucking... It's a fucking serial killer. What? Well, a fucking <laughs> drug dealer. It's crazy. Killed all them people, got five years, came out, fucking sold drugs again, fucking to exceed all fucking kids. It's amazing. Got 20 years. He's like a hero. It's 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 odd. And it is. It, it's it really, really is. odd. And, and again, it has... I think what people need to understand, it has nothing to do with, like, stature or whatever. You, like I said, you're either a loyal person... Or you're not. Or you're not. Or you're not and it's... It, to try to explain to someone who's not, not why right. it's it's not even worth the time because yeah. they're not gonna they're not gonna understand. But you hit it right on the head, it's right? Yeah, that's a that's a that's a good analogy. You it's, know, our videos get shut down once a week because of this. Well, that's another thing. We gotta, it's, we, it's I got to tell the people. I yeah, mean, we, we got to do it because we're no longer going to be on YouTube no more. No, we're gonna yeah, we and gotta, it's not about gotta, money. And it's not about no. money. We got to go. Uh, every one of our shows gets what, what, striked, striked, shadow banned, shadow banned, shadow banned, age striked. restricted. Well, I gave out turkeys. Mm-hmm. We gave out turkeys. Oh, thank you. T- t- 20 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. We gave out turkeys. We gave the kids coats. We gave them bikes. We gave them toys. We Everything. gave them money. A dinner. A dinner. You had to be 18 years old to watch my show. What in the fuck did I do wrong? Nothing. Why you got to you, on, on on YouTube, you go watch porn. You're not to be 18. Yeah. Yeah. You worried about my show? Well, I know. Because I, 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 I brought a black guy on mm-hmm. that was wrongly convicted, did 47 fucking years straight in jail. And he told the story. I didn't say no. We didn't make yeah. nothing up. Yeah. It's true. They they flagged us. I, I think, the fuck you flagging me for? I think the biggest thing for me, just watching things in life in general, is just the hypocrisy is a big thing. Like call it down the middle. Like if 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 you if like you said, I mean, you got eight year old kids watching Pornhub. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's well, not yeah. that hard. I know. Like, they just have a thing at the beginning. Are you eighteen yeah, years yeah, old? Yeah. Sure, yeah. I am. Yeah. And there you go. So I, know. I, I just think it's like. I don't understand. Like, it's got to be like YouTube just hates us. I, yeah, that's just the bottom line. It is. So we got to. We're going to go. What's it called? Patreon. Patreon, and uh, we're going to put those. Well, that's a great. That's a great platform. I'm gonna have a lot of people have been telling I, listen, me about that. I could be. I, I can't be myself here like I am today. I yeah. got to hold back. Watch what I say. Yeah, you can't curse. I can't worry about me cursing. Yeah. Well, we're going to have the link in the bios. We're yeah, going to post gonna it everywhere. On. It's going to be yeah. live in a week or so. Yeah. We're going to have special content on there. Yeah. We're going to give a couple giveaways. I'm going to do, do the, merchandise. I'm going to do the rat a month on there. Yeah, I, mean, I got a lot of good stuff you know, that we're going to do, but I just can't. I can't do this here on YouTube. I guess. I mean, well, I can't curse. I can't. I got to watch. I want to be me. Yeah. I am myself. You know what I mean? And I what I can't me. figure out is that. And I ain't doing nothing wrong. What yeah, the fuck like, there's that, nothing that, wrong. It, it and just, that's what gets me mad is because we're talking sports, we're talking food, we're talking that. He's not saying anything wrong. But the other people that are doing this, I will yeah, not mention it, names, they're allowed to do it. It don't make sense But to that's me. the problem I have with that in life. Well, is listen, just You got to have it, just call it one way. Right, exactly. You can't have it both ways. You can't. You can't, you can't listen, be half pregnant here. That, yeah. yeah, that fucking idiot, uh, which is Franchese. Yeah. Now, he, he went, first of all, him and Sammy the Bull, they had a, they invited me on their show. Mm-hmm. If I don't know if you've seen it. People sent it to me, you know, yeah. which I wouldn't fucking. That'd be nuts to think I was in the fucking <laughs> show. <laughs> he's seen it. He said yeah. it. <laughs> anyway, so fuck them. <laughs> Why say me the bullies? Looks like he got fucking cancer. He's fucking, looks like a chemo patient. <laughs> fucking disgruntled, <laughs> crepit motherfucker. Anyway, the guy, Franchese, a guy writes, I don't even want to talk about these people no more, but a guy writes the thing, said it was his lawyer. Mm. He wants me to Saw go that. on his show. Go right? on his show, yeah. yeah. So then Franchese comes back and says, he never told the guy to say that. Sure, and, sure, and, yeah. You know, you know, whatever. All right, so I'll give you that. You didn't tell the guy to say that. And he said, Joe, don't flatter yourself. What did he say? He said, don't flatter yourself. I'll never invite me on, uh, on your show, well, on I my gotta, show, but you're well, lying. I'm going to show you his text. I, I, listen, this, this is how funny it is. God works in funny ways. <laughs> he texts me. I mean, it's crazy if you think it, about it. it. Like, listen, why lie about it? Don't I mean, say it, that because he exposes lot, people it, for the right stuff. Happened. 
I exposed him. Yeah. First, he was real nice. He invited me on the show. I was a great guy. I loved having you on my show. Sammy the Bull. I wish you luck. You're yeah. a great guy. When I, after that explosion, I exposed him. He's a fucking rat. His fucking brother's a rat. His father's yeah. a rat. Now I'm a big guy. But he said that he would never invite me on the show. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to put this up. So you tell me if I invite you on the show. You lying motherfucker. This was from him. Back in September. This is, you'll see it. That's his Instagram. Michael Franchese. That's it. And he says, hi, Mike. Right here. Yeah. Read it. What's it say? Mike Francisi here. Glad to see you doing well. Congrats on the YouTube show. If you ever want to jump on with me yeah, on my same. channel, happy to sit down, discuss old days, what's happening now, nothing you don't want to discuss. All the best to you and your family. Yeah. See? Now, he loved me there. I was a good guy. Just like rats, uh, same thing. Now, <laughs> I exposed it. You're a fucking rat. Now you hate me. Yeah. So don't talk. I ain't going to talk about you no more. I, I know I keep on saying every show, but it's, that's it. In it, your it, position, it's... That's, a, your, that's your words. Yeah. I want to post text a screenshot. Me, I didn't text you, motherfucker. It's the truth, though. It really is. No, I, well, we're off YouTube, but this, this show might not even... You might not even see this show. <laughs> we're done with fucking YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just make sure your park gets in there. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> no, we're done. If this, this is the last this, one, this, I feel this, part of history. Yeah, yeah, it feels good. It's the last one. Fuck them, too. They hate us. I don't know why. Yeah. It's just it's, stupid. I gave out turkeys, and a guy got out of jail for being innocent 47 years. And, they, they banned my show. And $71,000 to help people in the community. What, what, what did I say wrong? It, it, and you'll never get an answer. Sammy now, the Bull, it's a Sammy the Bull gets up and brags about killing 18 people. It's not, he's a hero. Yeah. They it's, never get it's, taken it's, out. It's, it's frustrating. Oh, you can watch porn. It's all it's, fucked it's, up. It's, it's the country's frust- fucked up. No, I, I don't disagree there. That, that's, it's a yeah. weird, weird, weird world. Weird. I feel like I'm caught in between two times. I was yeah. born in '86. You see, yeah. sir. I feel like once 2005 came, like a lot. It just everything. I don't know. It's. I feel Changed. like I'm stuck no, in. Like I, I mean, it, you can't say anything. Can't say. They're anything. gonna take away Mother's Day. You can't yeah. say him, oh, her, God. And them. Yeah. You gotta call them them. What the fuck's yeah. them? Yeah, it's just you too much. Mother. It really is. Well, listen, you got I, a mother and you got a father. I mean, I, I, I don't get it. You know, I got nervous. You know, when my wife was pregnant. Thank God. You know, my son Dominic's. Uh, um, year and a half almost now and it's scary when she he, she was pregnant i'm thinking like this kid's coming into a crazy, crazy world crazy I world and yeah, I i'm like, a firm believer in not one man can't change the world but you could change your world right. yeah, and absolutely. i guess all we can do is as your immediate surroundings yeah. try to instill you know try to instill you, you, that you old school it. ways and, and do and, and hopefully it continues on because you can't i mean my father like he I mean, listen, we were, I was a rotten kid. I mean, we were bad. <laughs> no, we were bad. Like, well, we went to, like, your house for Christmas yeah. or somebody's yeah. house. If I didn't sh- walk in the house and shake the fucking Every, hand. Oh, we shook hands. It. Not yeah. the fucking, the, the rats or the dead fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Sh- yeah. Look at shake. you. Like, look yeah, at, yeah. If I didn't do that, I'd get a fucking beat. Oh, I, yeah. my father, the house, like, yeah. Nice, yeah. light to the people. Always. You know? I, yeah. And that's, listen. Oh, we I'm, got beatings. I'm 31 years old. Yeah. I'm around Joey. Like, yeah. always respectful. You have to be. Like, my grandfather and father yeah. told me, you walk in the room, you have to shake yes. everyone's hand. No. You yes. have to be respectful to everyone. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's yeah. up? Well, I get people that walk in. And that bothers me, too, yeah, when I'm does. around and I see people not shake somebody's hand yeah. or, like, we're somewhere. They don't like, acknowledge it. Yeah. yeah, like, they don't even look yeah, at you. Like, what do you, well, who taught you how to be that way? But I feel it. like, listen, everyone has different upbringings, but I feel like there's things like that that are universal. Yeah. There should be. And it's like the, you're just seeing yeah. the crack and you're seeing less of that and it's it's scary. So, I mean, all we can it's, do it's is... It, it, you got to say happy holidays now. Yeah. No, fucking Merry Christmas. Ain't happy holidays. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe in Christmas. No, yeah, fucking it is. Christmas for fucking... Well, that's another thing that... 61 years. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we got in trouble Merry for Christmas. that, too. You got to say... Uh, you got, you yeah, got, we got strike for a big Christmas? Yeah, yeah. yeah you got to oh, say man. happy holidays. Fuck we're we're on the radar, because we, there's yeah, nothing we can do. That's what the rat's calling in. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's sad. That's I know. Well, good. So now... No, they won't watch us no more. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but, or pay to watch us, plug, you know? Talk about, plug your podcast, yeah. where they can find you uh, at. Thank so. you. Yeah, uh, Talking Trash Wait. Podcast. It's just, it's, it's, uh, it's, it, we got to come over. Right? Oh, listen, I'm we got to get you too. on skates. I yeah. get you two yeah, on skates, absolutely. put you in some yeah. goalie gear, and we should yeah. do a like, shootout. Like Goldberg. Yeah, yeah. 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 we should get a yeah. shootout going. Fire at me, that's real nice. Uh, yeah, I got um, with, with Diamond Hands Daniel Ainsbury, who's the baddest man in hockey right now. We talk about a flyer. He would have been a Broad Street boy. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Uh, yeah, it's fun. You know what? Learning, figuring this whole thing yeah. out, no, too. We'll, and, uh, the we'll probably get no, your shadow, man. Yeah, no, <laughs> we'll you know what? The fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, it doesn't matter to us. I mean, we, we, um, 
Instagram. Yeah, check out Talking Trash Podcast, Absolutely. YouTube, you know, yeah, same thing, nice. Spotify, all that. And yeah. uh, yeah, make sure you hit the man. subscribe button. Yeah, subscribe make sure when you go on his yeah, podcast, trying to, hit that subscribe button. I talked button to my mom him. yesterday. She's like, Oh, I just watched episode eight, it was good. I said, Did you subscribe? <laughs> no, what's no, that? Yeah. No, hit the hit fun, the, yeah. please hit the, the well, thumb up. It's hard the, for a lot of people that gotta yeah. do the Gmail account. Like you know, I get it, I get it. But you gotta hit the subscribe button. Listen, we're having we're having fun with it. It all kinda everything I do kinda cycles into yeah. everything else I'm doing. Right. Absolutely. Fun with, and you know what? Just, uh, you know what? We got to have you guys. You yeah, guys, are, you, guys will, you guys will we have, have fun. Like me, listen, we love doing this. We yeah. do. We have fun. We do. We enjoy it. We go everywhere and everybody loves us everywhere listen, we I go. I put yeah. a camera in our club like, yeah. where we hang out yeah. and just yeah. make people watch it. Yeah. They couldn't Play believe what happens. Yeah. 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 You, that, that's the best. People love that. People, people will watch that. They, if you had six hours of no listen, narration, seen, just people will sit for six hours and watch it. the other day, we're watching the football games. Yeah. You got a nut coming in selling fucking Viagra. <laughs> yeah. another, another guy selling light bulbs. Yeah. Light Ralphie bulbs. had maker coffee. Somebody's yeah. making coffee. The yeah. Fucking, yeah. I just nuts. This is nuts. Listen, you, it's crazy. My uncle's 75 years old. You tell me wins, wow. he loses, he loses, he wins, he runs out there. We got to get him on the show. Yeah. yeah. My father hits the number every week. He says he never has the number. He plays yeah. the lottery number. The number came out the other day. Yeah. His father, I think his father said. He had a dollar. I said, Dad, please. He didn't play, won't play a number for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Ever. Ever. I, it, but that's like, that's yeah. the stuff that you got to see. Well, we got to get Ralph yeah. head on the show. Yeah. He's My uncle Ralphie's yeah. a yeah. classic. Yeah. He's got Listen, good gambling stories. 75 years old yesterday. Yeah. At New Year's Braid. He was dancing more than we were yeah. dancing. No, God bless. Still, he uh, might God not bless. be able to walk today, no. but <laughs> yeah. that's one thing about him is yeah. he, he brings the party. But he's got some funny stories. He gambling. does. He was a degenerate. I'm telling you, you're right. People, I've seen, I see YouTube videos or other, not just YouTube platform, it, with people, it's like a four hour video, just someone walking through a city. That's what, yeah, that's what we got to do. Stuff. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. If you know. put a camera up there, it, it'd be the best show ever. Yeah. And because it's real. It's real. It's well, no that's fake. well, that's what it is. I mean, yeah. with our podcast, do everything. I'm God willing, we get big too. But you Absolutely. know, if we don't, we don't. But I'm never gonna. It's all authentic. It's not Absolutely. like I talk like I would talk to anyone. Yeah, me I too, mean, yeah. same it's thing. same thing with you guys. It's like 95 percent of the stuff you see on we these, got nothing all, written down. It's not no. scripted. No, we this just wing just, it. Just These are picks. Yeah, picks. that's yeah. literally what that's me it. and me and, yeah. and Daniel do. We have like four topics. And that's it, and we just it. wing yeah. it. And, I, yeah. uh, I can't even, I don't know how to read. I don't know how to read. <laughs> I can't read no fucking teletopic. I said to him one time, he said, hey, Joe, how's, your, how's my eyes? I was, I, I can't see nothing. I I'm read transcripts. Yeah, 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 he said. Yeah, I mean, I don't, that's why I learned how to read and chill. It's true. I didn't yeah. fucking, I wasn't Basically. going to school. But, Listen, we want to thank you for you sure. You for oh, it's an honor to be here. You know, make sure, appreciate we'll make sure thank you family. so much. And we're coming on your show. No, yeah, please, anytime. Yeah, subscribe to his show. Make sure, and don't forget. And unsus episode, unsubscribe to us because we're done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> episode 16, you can find us on YouTube, YouTube Apple, if you find Spotify. <laughs> but we're going to be on Patreon also. Patreon make sure you check out my buddy AJ for sure. All right. Thank you, my brother. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Happy New Year, pal. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Life is a casino. We don't sing. We just hit them off with c -notes. And you can bet it all. I'm going to be the last one standing tall. Joey Molino. What's up, Luigi? Life is a casino. We don't sing. We just hit them off with c -notes. Tell us about it, And you can bet it all. I'm going to be the last one standing tall. Joey Molino.